just a very short introduction. You know, there was this paper by MIT about MIT mathematics using GPT-4. I did two videos on this particular topic, and I noticed today that this paper has been withdrawn from the archive server. So MIT archive preprint has been withdrawn, also the version two from June 24, 2023, officially by the MIT. And I found this interesting documentation. And here we have, maybe show you this one, the director of the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, Computer Science and Artificial Intelligence Laboratory writes here on the paper. This is the archive preprint. Uh, Ido Drori posted on archive a working paper. He did so without the consent despite having been told of problems that should be corrected before publication, we feel, and this is the voice of the director, it is important to explain why this paper should have never been published and must be withdrawn. Now comes the director in his official voice. We have asked Ido Prori to withdraw the paper. So if you read this, you understand exactly between the colleagues, the professors of MIT, that this is a very clear note. And I think what I appreciated in this communication, look this. We want to emphasize that all of the student authors in this paper worked really hard on what could have been a very interesting and valuable data. The many problems with the published work we are not the fault of the students. And I think this is excellent, but this leaves us exactly with one professor in charge responsible for this MIT publication that has been officially now withdrawn by MIT deputy directors. Hello community. Today we are facing a very simple question. Can GPT-4 calculate the integral of function, like polynomial function, for example, without any plugins, just GPT, vanilla GPT-4? So, why I make this video? Now, in my last videos, uh, you know, I thought about here presenting this new insight by MIT and Boston and Harvard and Stanford University and Columbia University. And also here you find it on Harvard. That GPT-4, and let's take this sentence, with prompt engineering achieves the perfect solve rate on an MIT mathematic curriculum. Beautiful. Let's talk about this. So we have here a very simple polynomial, and we integrate here from x equal minus 12, the lower boundary, to the upper boundary of x equal 3. Let's do this. So. I go to my GPT-4. I have here the open AI version that you have to pay 25 euros per month. And I say, hey, integrate, and this is exactly what I use, from our lower to the upper boundary. And yes, my viewer, you're right. You see on your screen that GPT-4 performs now the integral. And yes, it goes step by step. And it gives you then a numerical final result of this specific integral. Absolutely right. So GPT-4 does perform numerical integration. There is maybe a small detail to the fact, if you look at the numerical calculation, for example, let's look at this factor here. This factor comes from here. We have minus uh, 0.75. So exactly this term here, three quarters, and then we have x to the power of four. Beautiful. Now x is now three, so we have here our minus 0 0.75, and then we have here for x equals three, three to the power of four. If you have three to the power of four, this is 81, and the result that we multiply 81 with 0 0.75. Guess what? It is not 40. Take your time, have a look at the terms, no problem. And then read the last line that OpenAI provides here for ChatGPT. 
ChatGPT may produce inaccurate information about people, places, or facts. And this is exactly what happens here. You're right, it shows you a numerical integration. And it simulates as an autoregressive transformer system with self-attention and beautiful other mechanisms, here a numerical calculation. But just look at this term. If you take uh, 0.75 times 81, it is not 40. Look at the next term here, very easy. 12, so we have again here a factor of uh, three quarters, so minus 0 0.75, and we multiply this with minus 12 to the power of four. Now, 12 square is 144 times 12 is 1,728 times 12 is 20,736. If you take 20.7K and you multiply with 0 0.75, it is not 6.4k. So you see that you see something that is wrong. The calculation is wrong. Because the result, if you do go to Wolfram Alpha, input this formula, and you will get a result of 20.1k, a numerical result. So given that GPT-4 tells us, hey, it's 8.7k, 20.1k is quite different. So. Let's say, okay, but maybe it works with cubic, uh, with quadratic terms. Then let's take here a quadratic term and a linear term. Let's do exactly the same. GPT-4 gives you a beautiful uh, list here of all the calculation he is doing. But then again, just look, for example, at this term. We have again a coefficient of uh, 1 twelfth. And then we say times 12 to the power of 3. So, you know, this expression here is 1 for 4. And look what GPT-4 comes up with as a result, 288. You just have to check here the basic terms to see whatever happens here is numerically wrong. If you want to know the real result, 866 compared to 722. So, you see even quadratic term polynomials are not chat GPT or GPT-4 able to integral. So we started with the question, can GPT-4 calculate integrals of function without any plugins just by itself? And I think I've shown you now two counter examples where we might say probably not. So thank you for all the emails. Thank you all for all the comments you sent me on my last video that GPT-4 can do integral calculations, and I hope I could clarify some of the points. Great to see you in my next video.